Hello, today I'm going to show you what types of human food we may give our dogs as treats. It can also be turned into a cucumber banana frozen or simply called it cucunana frozen for short. Therefore, you only need the following three ingredients. First is banana, second is cucumber, and third is green or plain yogurt. So let us discuss first what are these ingredients advantages. First is the bananas. Bananas are safe for dogs to eat in moderation. It's a food that isn't low in calories, sodium, and fat, yet it is high in potassium, vitamin B6, which is good for brain and nervous development for dogs, and also is a source of vitamin C and fiber. However, this contains a lot of sugar. Please take note of that, that's why you should only offer it to them, sometimes and not as a part of their regular meals. Small dogs are only permitted to consume 1 to 3 small pieces of banana per day, while large dogs should only be given one half of a banana per day. A banana that is still green or nearly ripe can be a better choice for your dogs. Second is cucumbers. Cucumbers are recognized to be beneficial not only to dogs but also to humans. It is a nutritious and safe treat for your puppies or dogs. They are low in calories, salt and sugar, it also has a high water content and are essentially fat free. So, your dog would love this. Furthermore, unlike other seeds that are harmful to dogs, cucumber seeds are safe for dogs to consume. It is equally nutritious and beneficial as the rest of the cucumber. Third is yogurt. Plain or Greek yogurt is a good source of protein and calcium. It can function as a probiotic as well, which has advantages for the digestive system. Just make sure the yogurt is pure and free of organic or artificial sweeteners. So here are the steps on how you make this kukunana frozen treat. First is, as I already mentioned, you'll need to prepare the yogurt, banana, and cucumber as well as the silicon molders. And cut the cucumber in half lengthwise if you want to remove the seeds, but I just cut it in half horizontally because the seeds are safe for dogs to eat. Next is, since my blender is not working right now, I'm just getting ready to braid the cucumber into fine pieces with the greater scraper I have with me. It is totally up to you whether or if you decide to soften this with other tools or equipments you have such as blender. After that, combine the cucumber and banana. Now all I have to do is smash the banana until it's smooth and soft. However, I prefer this than a blender so that my dog will be able to munch on the bits of fruit rather than the super blended ones. So this is the yogurt I will use right now. It is the creamy yogurt. Please only pour out a reasonable amount. This will counteract the sweetness of the banana and the low sugar level. This creamy yogurt I used was less sugary even than Greek yogurt. Consequently, once everything is creamy, you may pour all of the combined ingredients into your silicone molder. Since my dog is getting excited to try the treat I made, even if it hasn't been frozen yet, let us check if that is acceptable to him. To be clear, my dog is not biased in judging what I feed him because he is a very fussy eater. So once everything is in the molder, throw it in the freezer for an hour and your dog will be ready to eat it after an hour. So let us take the frozen goodie out of the freezer and this is how it seems. It looks delicious. If you want to, you can consume this as well. I hope you enjoy and are inspired by this simple recipe. I hope your dog enjoys it. If you want me to include another recipe for dog treats, please leave a comment below. Again, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.